hello? Hey, what are you doing here? Hello? Hi. So you can hear me? Did I? No, I can hear you. Okay, so this is, <laughs> we're going to do, we're going to do another extension, right? Yeah, this is, we're going to do another extension this week. Right. I know, I hear you groaning, but these episodes, they're hard <laughs> to do, all right? We have to edit a lot of stuff Stop together. It. Don't do that. <laughs> I did it just because I know you won't use it. No, we're doing we're doing an extension because they're great. They are great. They're because I, they're fun. I actually love them. Yeah, they're great. And this week we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna do something tremendously enjoyable. If you didn't get the gist of what he just said, fun is what's happening. Um, in honor of E3, uh, you know, the entertainment. Um, Expo, I don't know what the other E stands for In honor of that being this week We're going to do like a video game theme What do you think of that? I love it, I'm down You like video games And I like videos You like some video games By the way, this this is probably obvious to someone who's uh, watching this now Is that uh, this is actually a visual podcast Our first oh, yeah. video podcast That goes without saying You just you clicked on it, now you know You're experiencing it now Little did, did anyone know that we were actually pixelated um, human beings. Well, are you a human being? Because I don't see like a neck or like shoulders. I'm just seeing a disembodied head jabbering in the we're, ether. We're podcast voices. We don't have bodies. This is this is us. This is how we actually look, you, you know. guys. Pod, podcasts are all di digital. Nothing about them is real. And nothing about us is real either. Especially the boob job, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> it's all ones and zeros. Mostly just two big zeros. <laughs> so, uh, Tim, you found this game. Uh, yeah, I found this. This was I had to dig through so many articles on Wikipedia to find this, too. No, I, the, I, it's, it was in the deep web. It was, <laughs> it was just on the bottom of the, the Jetman uh, Wikipedia page. I was like, oh... There's a video game for Nintendo uh, Entertainment System. So so I decided um, a long time ago that we would at some point play this game. We would do a video, let's play, you know, that you see on the internet. But it would be us doing it, you know? That's that's fresh and new. You always see other people doing these, but you never see us doing them. I want to so, see that. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, we're going to be playing part of Jetman, the first part of Jetman NES. I'm excited. Seen seen up to now only in Japan, but we're bringing it stateside. Yeah. So so what do you think of that? So you're welcome. You're welcome. So, well, so let's get into it. Yeah, like why are we sitting here gnawing at the air when we could be playing Jetman? We are masters of technology bringing this to you for the first time in America, ladies and gentlemen. Jetman for the NES. I don't know if it's. Here we go. I don't know if it's the first time, but it's a time. We're bringing it to you a time. So Tim, let us. Let us. Well, let's do it. Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? gonna be uh, looks like I can choose between difficulties be. easy and normal uh, I think I'm gonna opt for easy <laughs> I don't know NES era games are, are sort of renowned for being really hard so yeah I really don't want to I don't want to lose and look like a fool uh, stage select let's see uh, I guess I'll just go with area a that's good to me let's keep it simple hey. oh look at this I can choose between jetmen Look at this, they have different different powers. White Swan hmm. has a bird blaster. Yep. Red Hawk's got the bringer sword. Blue Swallow's also got the bird blaster. Looks like Yellow Owl has a wing gauntlet? Winged gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japan. Uh, it looks like Black Hunter also has the bringer sword. Uh, this one sounds good. I want to try out yeah. uh, this wing gauntlet. I want to see how it differs from the wing gauntlet. Here All we right. go. Here we go, Ryder. Oh, look at that. Look at this. This looks great. He's tiny, it's though. Pretty good graphics for uh, NES era, but I guess it was the tail end in 1991. Because I think the SNES came out in 91. Mm. Maybe maybe even earlier than that in Japan. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's check this game out. Play the game. I can't can't jump off these boxes at all. Not real. Let's go this way. Oh. I guess we got, uh, what are those, dimensional bugs? Must be. I'm in some kind of, some kind of dock, loading dock. Ooh. Oh, 
He's another, what is that, a grasshopper? It's like a, it's like a goat and a grasshopper together. It's like a, it's a goat hopper. Mutant, mutant animal. Yeah! This wing gauntlet is pretty awesome. Ooh. Hey, you're owning. Yeah. Wait, could those guys shoot in the show? I don't remember that. No, if those are the regular henchmen. Uh -huh. Like that, Byram? Byram! I am kicking some ass. I'll let that one get away. Yeah. Whoa. 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 What was that? I guess I could do that. I like I it. I just pressed the start button to pause it uh, to see if there were any options, and I I flew through the air <laughs> like a total jet pro. Uh, shouldn't have wasted it. Now I feel kind of bad. Maybe I'll get a power up again. Oh, that's what that Guys. is. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Nice. I'll use this again. Oh. Finally got hit. I'm pretty good at this game now. You're doing all right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nothing you can throw at me is going to stop me, game. Probably shoots you in the face. There you go. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You're owning, man. I'm wanting to jump on these boxes back here. Come on. That's the deal. True true warriors don't oh, need to ball. jump on boxes. He's shooting from below. Man, this level is going on forever. Let's try this. Hey, yo. Oh, did hey, you yo. see that? Did you see that? <laughs> totally worth it. Cool. Mm, yeah. Indoors. Come at me. I think I, I reached the end of the level. Who's it gonna be? Oh, oh it's Mirror Dimension! Fan favorite Mirror Dimension! All right. I'm fighting him, I guess. What the? Oh, I'm being beamed up into the jets! There you go. Yeah, okay. Robot coming together. Jet machines launch. What? Oh, spoiler alert! The combining's all. Gotta skip through this then. All right. Here we go, here it is. Like rock and sock and yeah, robots. Take it. Oh, wait, I can block if I press down, look at this. Yeah! Ah, oh, jeez, he's too fast. He's fast. Mm, yeah, go. Oh. No! I'm losing. Oh, if I press start, I can do, I can do beams. Yeah, beam That's them up. That's what the power, the power bar is for, it's charging up. Yeah, take it. He's fast. Oh. He is fast. Come on. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. This is for you, Commander. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is not looking good. Oh, no. I'm losing. No. Ooh. No. <laughs> I died. It's all exploding now. Oh, I have a password. I'm going to try to continue. One more time. Yeah. I can do this. I can do this. This time, I'm going to pick... Gonna Oh, there Black you go. Black Condor. Well done. Nice choice. Maybe with his spirit of badassness, I will make it through this. <laughs> Ugh, take it. Wish I could get on his motorcycle and just ride through this level, knocking everyone over. There you go. Seems like something he would do. He's got a sword. He's got the bringer sword. He's got a long reach with that thing. supposed to be behind me. It's like a giant jungle gym. Ugh, not doing as well with the bringer sword. The wing gauntlet was really good. Nothing can stop me! Except for mirror dimension and the boss level. <laughs> oh yeah, I still have this. There you go. Boom! Oh, I should have saved it for right here. Yeah. Come on.
Oh, I hate this guy. <laughs> Every time. Doing pretty good, though. Get away. Not too bad. Oh, no. Spoke too soon. Where are all the dock workers? Maybe they got uh, <laughs> killed killed off by these henchmen. What is, th what is this, anyway? Yeah, this I would like walk a, into that. Some kind of... I don't know. Slash it with my sword, knock it over. And then I'm standing on these, like, these turds. There's, like, these turd <laughs> platforms. Alright, we're back. The true test, man. True test of a true warrior. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. You're here. You're mirror dimension. <laughs> get used to it. Okay, then the transforming sequence, and we're back in it. I think I can do it this time, guys. You better. Pray for me. I'm just gonna try to use my, my powers. That thing is working. Got him. Ah! He just blasts me with mirror beams. Yeah, he's got a long reach. Oh, come on. Dude. It's gonna be Why really disappointing. I... Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Oh jeez. Oh man. You're blinking, man. Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I did it! I beat him! Way to go! Oh yeah! Oh! <laughs> I am a true warrior. Well done, sir. I cleared it. Well, note that password, people, because we'll be coming back next time for a little bit more of this uh, Jetman, the video game. Good stuff. I cleared it. Wow. I didn't think I was going to make it through that. I honestly thought I was going to lose twice in a row. That was commendable. I'm proud of you. I don't know. I'm glad somebody's proud of me. Anyway, so uh, moving right along in our video game week, I guess we really only have two video games to talk about. Um, but that's enough, right? I mean, you don't want to overdose. You don't want to, like, throw a bad game into the mix. You want to leave on a high note, right? Listen, did you see E3? These are the top two games, like, to be talking about this week. I mean, I wasn't that impressed. <laughs> Obviously, nothing else could be on your mind in, in the world of video games. Did you, see, did you see any other Sentai video games at E3? I didn't. Anyway, but the one prominent one that I at least have been keeping track of uh, is a small little game out of a, a tiny studio called Behold, Behold Studios, um, and it's called Chroma Squad. Have you heard of this? Mm, yes. Yeah, I, I think that we, we have we donated to the Kickstarter? Have I? I don't know. No, in fact, probably. In fact, it's too late uh, to contribute to the Kickstarter, but it is funded. And they got almost twice of what they asked for. Right. And you can go to their their website, ChromaSquad.com, and you can uh, you can pre-order it there. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out this summer. Summer 2014. Yeah, Mac, uh, PC, Linux, and it'll be on Steam. So just about any which way you, you roll, you, you can get your hands on it. Unless you're just like console um, underclass, then then you're screwed <laughs> for a while. Sorry. Unless you just own a Wii U in case, which case I'm, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry for so many reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's a great little game. Um, I've seen footage of the alpha being played. It's like a Sentai Squad Manager. It's like a management sim, but you also get to play as the Sentai in like a tactical segment uh, that then becomes the the episode, your Sentai episode for that week. It looks really cute. The graphics are really quaint and uh, pixely, and they, it just looks really good. I can't wait to play it, actually. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. And, and from what I understand, um, it says there's there's tactical ground battles. Uh, you can craft gear and That's like great. it looks like merchandise, you know, yeah. for your show. Yeah, it totally does. You manage your studio, and it says, uh, and this is in. I'm putting in this in quotes here: dynamic story with multiple endings, <laughs> and compete for viewers and. In multiplayer action. Ooh. So. Yeah, it just, it looks excellent. It doesn't just look good. It looks like the, the game for this year. So we're putting a, we're putting a Henshin Comprehension preemptive seal of approval on this game. <laughs> Slap that on. Put a sound effect. Like a, <laughs> like that. So we're, we're really hyped for that. 
with Jetman under our belt, we are we are ready for more Sentai action in the form of this game whenever it, it comes out this summer. We're going to run to our local Steam uh, capable machine and download it immediately. Right. It's one to look out for. Totally. You heard it here um, a time. You, you, you heard about <laughs> it here on Henshin Comprehension. You heard it here for the first time for probably the fifth time here on Henshin Comprehension. You heard and about it welcome. for at least, a t- like, you heard about it for the last time before you bought the game. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You heard it for the last time here. We're reporting on it um, really late in its cycle of development, but you can still support it by buying it. So you, it, the, that's the good news. You don't have to support the skip starter. Journalistic Integronaut. I think I just called it a kip starter. I need, I'd still support it. Can we get some water on the set? Who am I talking to? Damn, it's me. Did you just have a, another seizure? It's funny because you're actually concerned. So I guess this is the part of the show that we have designated in these Henshin extensions for listener feedback. But we can only do this um, if you guys send in your letters. That's right. Um, this was very popular last time we did a Henshin extension. But for its continued popularity, we need you guys to keep giving us reviews on iTunes. So just continue to do that. We love that. Continue to rate us. I I like being judged. My favorite. But anyway, um, here here is uh, straight from the mailbag. Uh, These are reviews. These are user reviews. So if you you do write us, if you do write us a review, you have a chance of getting read live on the show. Live. Well, not live, but I'm alive and I'm reading it. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready. So this is straight from uh, the mailbag of our, our listeners. I'm just randomly pulling one out here. But Donkadonk said, There's part of me that enjoys watching my friends fail. Listening to the guys really makes me feel superior. Thanks, boys. Thank you, Badonkadonk. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Donk. For last week. You're real Donk. Interior Crocodile says... I listen for the samples. They're the real star of the show. I also listen for the samples, I have to admit. Because I'm on the show. There's no reason that I would listen to it again. <laughs> you know what, Interior Crocodile? Um, I, I, I listen to the sam- for the samples, too. I'm a big fan of the samples. I could, I could take or leave either of us. Uh, Dylan Palmer says, Great podcast, guys. Very fun, funny, and cool. You're very fun and cool, Dylan Palmer. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks, Dylan. It's a very positive review. Five stars. Like that. Nice. Nice. Goop City 349 wrote, Podcasts are an awesome source of entertainment for people on a fixed income. Henshin Comprehension is not only great because it allows me to save more money to support my crippling glue-huffing habit, it also paints gorgeous Sentai-colored mindscapes for me to enjoy while I'm zonked out of my gourd. Thanks for allowing me to live out the American dream, guys. Three stars. <laughs> Thanks, That's Goop nice. City. I think he just hit the wrong button. He, he, he meant to give us six stars. That's all right. You know, I'm going to let it fly. Uh, Mr. Goop City over here. He I'm sure he sounds... lets lots of stuff fly. <laughs> he sounds like a nice guy. UFO Milk says, Twins can be perfectly symmetrical. One is left-handed, one is right-handed. One has their heart on their left side, one has their heart on the right side. Are you two twins? I don't know. We're not biological twins, but we might be like, I don't know, like spiritual twins. I think we share a soul between us. Yeah, do you think that? Because I feel that. I think we're Siamese soul twins. Um, Tread Junkie says, This podcast is the only way I ever get anything done. Tim and Ryan are hilarious. It's worth listening to for their dynamic alone. I'm sorry. Is it Trad or is it Trey D? Is that actually... It's Trad Junkie or Trey D Junkie. Anyway, Mr. Junkie, we appreciate that. It's not often I uh, I get called hilarious. Tim, do you, do you get called hilarious very often? Does me muttering it to myself in my sleep count? Uh, Sasquatch Sandwich wrote... Your podcast is like if Locks of Love opened up a sandwich shop, I'd prefer a wrap. Mm. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that one means. Maybe they're a Sasquatch enthusiast, or maybe they're a sandwich enthusiast. There's some kind of enthusiast. Maya Sophia wrote, Even though there are portraits of both of you on your site, when I'm listening, I like to imagine Ryan as a towering oak. Uh, and imagine Tim as a stately yet mischievous woodchuck. 
crawling through its outer bark. I'm a woodchuck? Wow. God, <laughs> I feel like I can't cut a break on these. On these. It's, it, they all love you, I think. Maya, that was very colorful. Email me. The end is meh, wrote. I made a hard copy of every show on a 45 and store it in my backyard fallout bunker for pos- prosperity. I think he means posterity. Mm. Keep up the magnanimous work. Thank you. That's a four star right there. So that's pretty wow. good. That's pretty I, good. I th- yeah, I think he's he's trying to manage his expectations. What with the end of the world coming. DTF 24-7 wrote, Hey, Ryan, call me sometime. Or Tim. I'll settle. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> so mean to me. I don't, know, I don't know how to take that. Well, I think it's clear from these reviews that everyone loves you and you're the good one and I'm the other one. I don't know, man. I love you. You're my favorite in the show. <laughs> Same to you, buddy. Mwah. Tested on animals wrote, I let my pet ferret listen to you guys. She is now missing. If anyone spots a ferret wearing a sparkle double flower military hat, in the Santa Monica area that answers to the name of French Toast, please contact me at well-dressed animal... What? (laughs) It goes on for too long. Anyway, I'm searching Amazon for... What are they? Sparkle flower hats for ferrets? The proud proctologist, Double Zero, wrote, Your show holds up under deep probing. My appreciation is bottomless. I get it. It's like... There's like two anus jokes in a row. Mm. They're like butt jokes. Well, thanks. I mean, we appreciate the feedback. If you uh, have something to say to us, you can you can hit us up on Twitter, uh, Henshin Podcast, or you can visit our website at henshincomprehension.com and, right. uh, and email us at our, at our contact email at contact at henshincomprehension.com. Before we go, we want to do a little shout out to our boys at... A little, little shout out to, uh, to Bueno... Uh, at Garage Hero for uh, Gun Caliber. Watch that this week. And uh, I don't know. What did you think of it? It's very um, loud, very it's racy. Very, it's very. Oh my God. Uh, oh, look out. Oh, whoa. oh, they're invading. Oh, what is oh. that? There's like henchmen everywhere. Oh, I oh. think I'm offended. There's boobs. Like, the boobs are just like rubbing <laughs> oh, awesome. in my face. Oh, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. This is challenging oh. my constitution. Oh my God. Oh, oh right. Oh. Well, I feel violated, but in a good way. Let's just do it again. <laughs> let's go again, Tim. Let's go again. Well, um, I guess that wraps it up. That wraps up another Henshin extension. Uh, uh-huh. But, uh, I mean, we'll be here next week. The both of us will be here. Will you be here? Um, You should be here. Me and you. Um, I sent you an Evite. I hope you accept. I have RSVP'd and confirmed for two. All right. Well, we'll reconvene here uh, next Thursday. Next Thursday week. it is, buddy. All right. Tim, I love you. <laughs> We're not going to put that in the episode. Dude. I love you. Our love are, is strong, but it goes without saying. Uh, <laughs> it, goes, it sways it goes like the branches. so much non-saying. Just of, don't, don't talk about of it. Of the mighty oak. I am a mighty oak. Yeah. Anyway. I will chuck you down. <laughs> we'll chuck you later, Tim. Well, chuck you on the other side. Right. Good Lord. <laughs> Stop on it. I'm out. I'm out.